Hey, y'all. This, not happening. Gross. But wait, check out my awesome shirt that my panda sister Andy got for our group. They're awesome. These are pictures of me and my panda sister Snowy and Andy. We all went to college together and have remained amazing friends. Anyway, this is a hot mess. What am I going to do with this? Maybe some coffee will help. There we go. That's much better. Alright, now that I look a little bit better, I'm going to do this video that I saw last night called a rainbow tag. And I saw this on the channel of Graveyard Girl. Let it come into focus. Hi, Bunny. I'm sure she has no idea who I am as I'm relatively new to YouTube and no one knows who I am. But I subscribed to her channel and she is ridiculously funny and absolutely gorgeous. So you should hop on over and subscribe. I will feature her channel in the description box. And if you are not already a subscriber, you should take my advice and do so. And even though I was not tagged in her video, I thought it was a cute idea. And I decided to do my own so I could tag some of my people. So the concept behind a rainbow tag is you find things that you absolutely could not live without that are the colors of the rainbow. And I have a couple of things that represent different colors in the rainbow. Because um, some colors I just simply could not pick one thing. Maybe one of these days I'll figure out this lighting thing because it's killing me. So here we go with my rainbow tag. The first color which is red. I do have a few things, um, a couple, I think, only two, but I couldn't pick between the two which one I couldn't live without, so I'm going to show you both of them. The first one is Very Sexy Perfume by Victoria's Secret. This is one of my absolute favorite scents. The other red item that I could not live without is obviously my J-Cat Big Lip Pencil in the color Red Rose. I absolutely love this color and I do wear it um, just about every day. Even though I have so many colors of lipstick, this one is my favorite. The second color of the rainbow is orange. And what I have that represents the color orange is my bottle of insulin. See the orange stripe there? And the reason I picked this is because without this, I would not survive. So this really is one of the things I could not live without. The next color was yellow. I had a pretty difficult time finding anything yellow that I couldn't live without, even though yellow is my favorite color. I guess yellow is just a color that is very often used for packaging. So I decided that even though it may be kind of a stretch, it does have some yellow on it. So I went with my Cashmere Glow Triple Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works and see, there's a little bit of yellow right there. And now it's not that the camera's out of focus, it's actually out of focus on the packaging. Wow! This stuff is one of my favorite products because I do suffer from dry skin and not only does it smell amazing, but it keeps my skin smooth and not all dry and crocodile looking and yes, ashy. I can get ashy and it's terrible. Green was a color that I had two things for. I have these makeup cleansing tissues that came in my Ipsy bag. I hope I can find these somewhere to purchase them locally because they really are wonderful makeup wipes and they smell like pomegranate so I really like these. I hope I can keep these in my makeup entourage. The second thing I have that is represented by green is Beano. Yeah, I know you guys may be like, what the hell, Beano? But being lactose intolerant and occasionally getting foods that have a dairy product in them that I'm not aware they have a dairy product in them, like when we go out to eat or something. Um, it's nice to have these little guys because if you're lactose intolerant and you eat dairy and you have not taken a lactose tablet beforehand, your friends may not want to be hanging out with you later. 
For the color blue, I actually have three items. The first one is my deodorant. Speaking of, I need to put some of that on. Much better. The second item that I have that is blue is my doTERRA peppermint oil. I use this a lot when I have muscle aches or if I just have a headache or a migraine. Something about smelling the peppermint eases the pain and the tension. So I rely on this stuff a lot. Maybe one more time. Sometimes if I've had a particularly stressful day and I've got a lot of tension in my neck, I will put a few drops of this. When I say a few, I mean like one or two because this stuff is potent. And I will just drop it into the shower. And as it, the shower starts to steam, the fragrance kind of gets all in the shower. And it really does help soothe the pain and tension that I have in my neck. And the third thing I have that is represented by blue is Max Freeze. I got this from a friend of mine who got it from her chiropractor. And it really is amazing if you're having like muscle spasms or something in your back because the pain is really bad. I don't use this as often anymore since I got the peppermint oil. But on occasion when I'm just in a lot of pain, I will use this as well. And and I really like it because it's in a little roll-on, so you don't have to get the stuff all over your hands. And then if you're like me and you're an idiot, you forget, and you can never wash that stuff off your hands good enough, and then you rub your eyes, and then your eye is like burning. For indigo, yes, I actually had something in my house that was the color indigo. I have, have Numi Finishing Serum for your hair. It's just a finishing treatment that kind of seals and protects your hair after all of the damage we do to it when styling. And lastly, represented by a color in the rainbow, is violet. And again, I have an oil from doTERRA, and this is the Clary Con Con Monthly Blend for Women. I really couldn't live without this stuff because I get cramps really bad, and it does help. Well, that's it for all the colors that are actually in the rainbow. However, I think there are colors in the world that make colors represented by the rainbow a little more vibrant. And without these colors, then those colors wouldn't really have a contrast and they wouldn't pop. So I'm going to represent some of those other colors that aren't in the rainbow. One of them is pink. And the pink item that I could not live without is my phone. Yes, it's just in a pink case. But I have learned that these phones can be pretty fragile, so without my pink OtterBox, I am sure this thing would have been busted long ago. Then there's the color silver. And I have my favorite hairspray by Redken. It's Forceful 23. To me, it just holds really well for my hair and doesn't leave it feeling all crunchy and gross. It holds but still leaves it flexible, even though it says it is super strength. And so that's why I like this product. Then there's the color black. I have two items that are represented by black, and they're both for my hair. One is my straightening iron. The other is just a really super old curling iron that I have that still works, and I absolutely love it. So I probably won't buy a new one until this one just kills over and refuses to work because I haven't seen a curling iron that I think I will like as good as this one. But without these products, I would look a mess all the time. And then there's brown, which is the last color I will feature in my rainbow tag. And for brown, I have bronzers. I love bronzers. I use them to contour my face and whatnot and to make me look a little sun-kissed and tan even though I am pale as a ghost and if I go out into the sun which doesn't really exist that often in Washington State but if it does happen to come out and I go out in it I burn and look like a beet so I use bronzer and spare my flesh.
Alright, so there you have it. That's my rainbow tag video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I am actually going to tag a few people in this one, and maybe they will see it and repost. If they don't, then, oh well, I guess I had some fun by myself. The person I am going to tag is actually someone who was one of the first people to subscribe to my channel, and I think she found me through a mutual friend. She seems to be kind of new to YouTube and has just started her own channel, so I'm going to tag her, and hopefully she will make a video and repost. And her name is Crystal Turvey. The second person I'm going to tag is my great and fabulous friend, Shay Brooks. Third, I'm going to tag Rosebud143, just because I like her channel. Alright, so I look forward to seeing the reply videos to my tags. I will feature the channels of everyone that I tagged in the discussion box. And I hope everyone has a great time with this, because I thought it was kind of fun. If you watched this video and you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You can follow me on Pinterest, Blogger, Tumblr, all that stuff is linked on the main page for my channel. So go there, follow me, whatever, grow my channel, and yeah, I'm sure I'll post another video soon. Until then, be fabulous.